actually. I doing my, I'm doing my master's in management. Okay. I'm doing my master's in management right now. Uh, is what something precisely what I'm actually interested in in digital marketing is affiliated marketing. Okay. It's something I really want to build a leverage on, create a business about it. Have I have my own marketing agency, something of that sort. Okay. So I really love to learn. All right, fantastic, uh, fantastic. Thank you for that um, that briefing, and you once again you're welcome. All right, so let's get to Mr. Tego. I don't know if Mr. Tego is uh, uh, available right now. If not, we're going to move straight to uh, Sandrita. You're welcome to this um, live training. So we just want to get a briefing about yourself and the reason why you decided to um, take this program or why you actually want to know more about digital marketing and which aspect of digital marketing you really want to focus on. Uh, it seems as if he's, um, she has been disconnected again by the internet connection. All right, so um, the recorded sessions are going to be provided at the end. So for those who don't follow up, they are going to catch up with the recorded session. All right, so before we begin, once again, my name is Tamon Ziodini. I live, work here in the United Arab Emirates. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Tadita Group Institute, which has been existing over the past two years. And uh, we offer a variety of courses ranging from digital marketing to the BIM master program to human resource management. And uh, we have the entrepreneurship and innovation. Then we are introducing data analysis. Okay, once again, Mr. Um, Mr. Emmanuel, your mic is fine. I think you're, you're connected. Mr. Charles, you're welcome as well. Yes, right? Yes. So um, it's good to have you guys with us today. And we're just going to have um, some little, we're going to have some discussion in respect to the program. And uh, Sonia just made mention of the fact that her most, her, her priority is to learn digital, uh, sorry, affiliate marketing and know how she can leverage from it or build a business around affiliate marketing, which I think is very, very good because that is where digital marketing ends. So from the various modules as far as digital marketing is concerned, by the time you get into affiliate marketing, it means you're actually trying to incorporate everything you've learned about digital marketing into a platform where you'll be able to generate some income for yourself. All right, so uh, Mr. Emmanuel, you're welcome. So just give us a briefing about yourself, where you're connecting from, and the reason why you decided to take this program, and of course, what is your main focus? Thank you for giving me the floor. Actually, as my name is on the screen, is Nsaidika Emmanuel. Okay. I'm from Cameroon, and precisely in the East region called Betwa. Okay. That's where I am. And wow. as far as the program is concerned, well, uh, all the items, all the models that have been stated are, are those models that have been willing and have been wanting, I've even done some research on the web on how to do all those, especially Google Ads, uh, data analytics, uh, digital marketing, and even affiliate marketing. So all those uh, models, I'm really interested in them. I can't say I'm particular focus on one, but since the course has to do with all what I'm interested, I'm, I'm game with all of that. Wow, fantastic. Then you are at the right place and want to officially welcome you to Tadita Group Institute. Okay, so um, I'm just going to brief you guys about digital marketing as a whole and what you're going to be expecting as far as this course is concerned. And we're going to have a little bit of practical sessions. I'm going to highlight um, the various modules so you should be able to understand uh, some of you may live from here um, with a different notion as far as digital marketing is concerned, okay? Now, so people keep hearing about digital marketing, but they don't really understand what it's all about, okay? They have a misconception about digital marketing. Some people think digital marketing is network marketing. If you tell someone, do you know about digital marketing, he or she will be thinking about network marketing. When you tell someone about digital marketing, they will be thinking about affiliate marketing. Okay, so these are three different aspects. Okay, so network marketing has nothing to do with digital marketing. As a matter of fact, network marketing has been existing before digital marketing came into existence. While affiliate marketing is like a branch of digital marketing. In fact, it has been removed from digital marketing. Okay, so those are things you need to understand. 
The second aspect which I want you guys to, uh, a particular item which I want you guys to take off your mind is that when we talk about digital marketing, it's not about making money, okay? And for us Africans, Cameroonians in particular, we have that notion of trying to make income as soon as possible, right? We want to generate millions in one month, one year, one week, and so, okay? That's not what digital marketing is all about. Digital marketing is all about spending, okay? Digital marketing is all about spending. As a digital marketer, you will be spending money to get results for either your client or for your business. These are the things you need to understand. Now, for those of you who have gone through maybe a university, you've done your master's, you must have heard about marketing, you must have heard about advertisement, right? Now, if a company employs you in a company, if a company employs you, sorry, if a company employs you as a marketer, then your main objective is to do what? Is to tell people about a particular product, right? To tell people about the products of a company, okay? You are there to market, you are there to, to showcase, you are there to create awareness about particular products or the goods and services of that company. That is your job, okay? Your job is to reach out to people out there. Now, once you've done that, marketing has already, take place, has already taken place. Now, there's one thing other companies fail to understand is that as a digital marketer, your job is not to close deals. Your job is not to, um, your job is not to um, complete sales. Your job is to market the products. How many people were you able to reach out to when you carry out your marketing campaign? That is your job. Your job is not, how, it's not about the number of products the company was able to sell which that one actually um, weighs on your performance. But, digital, but marketing has to do with what? Awareness. Marketing has to do with what? You showcasing the products, services, or an event to people. That's what marketing is all about. Now, if you've gone through a normal, traditional way of doing marketing, then you will understand that if you have a product and you want people to know about that product, what do you do? You can design flyers, you can design posters and you move around. You can share these flyers to people. You can post them on billboards, okay? That is marketing. You've done your job as a marketer, okay? That's the reason why you see uh, most companies, they do pay, all right? When you have these billboards that are located on the streets where companies, you have flyers of companies, right? What they have done is they have simply paid the government so that the government can do what, can advertise for them. People go to the radio station, they pay for advertisement to be done. Making sales or not is not the objective of the radio station. It's not the objective of um, the, the government. If the government places your, bill, your, your flyer on a billboard and he has been there for three, four months, you are unable to make a single sale. Maybe your business is not a good business and people don't really need that particular product. But you've paid them for that job, right? You've paid the government to advertise your product. You've paid the radio station, you've paid the TV station. Marketing has taken place. They have done their marketing for you, okay? They have advertised your product. If you made sales or not, it's not their problem, okay? So if at that level, you've met them, you've given whatever you want them to advertise and they do it, then marketing has taken place. That's the normal traditional way of doing marketing. Now let's take it to the digital aspect of it. Right. So digital marketing is simply using digital tools, okay, to showcase, to advertise, to create awareness about products, services, or events coming up. That's just what digital marketing is all about. Which means that if um, at the end of the program you become a digital marketer or a certified digital marketing expert, and uh, you have clients, you need to make them understand that your job is just to create the advertisement. And you'll be able to tell them that I created this advertisement and I was able to reach out to 10,000 people. If out of these 10,000 people that this advertisement reached out to, you were unable to close 10 sales, then that should be the problem of your product or maybe the, 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 the flyer which you gave me to advertise. That is your problem. But I delivered my job as a digital marketing expert. Okay, so a digital marketer is that person who uses digital tools, uses the internet to showcase, to advertise products, to create awareness for events or services. So it is not for you to generate sales. 
No. So as a digital marketer, I don't need to, I'm not the one to close deals. That is not my job. My job is just to create the advertisement. I am not there to close deals. Okay. So if your business is not doing well, you're not supposed to blame me because I'll be able to bring my report and say, I created your advertisement. You were able to generate um, maybe 75 leads. All right. 75 people contacted you, but they weren't able to buy a product. Maybe you did not know how to do what to close the deals for them. All right. So that's just what digital marketing is all about. Now, digital marketing is divided into various um, it's divided into various modules. So just permit me to share um, a slide here. Okay, I'm just going to share a slide here. All right, so like I explained to you, digital marketing is a process of building and maintaining customer relationship, right? Through online activities to facilitate the exchange of ideas, products, and services that satisfy the goal of both parties. So basically, all right, basically as a digital marketer, your job is just to do what? To create awareness of a particular service, products, or goods, okay? So you are creating awareness, you're creating advertisement, all right? Just to do what? To create that mutual understanding between you and the client. That is your job. That is your job and it ends there. Okay? Generating leads now or closing deals now is at the level of the company. Okay? Or maybe the, the level of the sales department. That is their job. Your own job as a digital marketing expert is just to do what? To create a various campaigns. Now, digital marketing is equally is divided into various modules. Uh, we have four major modules that make up digital marketing, okay? And we have three major pillars, okay? So when you talk about digital marketing, if you don't talk about SEO, if you don't talk about PPC, if you don't talk about SMM, then you haven't said anything as far as digital marketing is concerned. Okay, now there are several ways you can create advertisement on the internet. You can create advertisement with the help of a website. Okay, the reason why companies do have websites is because they want to showcase their products or services to people out there. That's the function of the website. You are creating a website because you want to showcase your business. You want to showcase your services. You want to advertise a specific event, okay? That is the reason why, that's the reason why you are creating a website. That's the main function of a website, okay? To advertise, to tell people about your business. That's the reason why, you see companies like Dangote, if you visit their website, Amazon, you visit their website, you're going to see their products which they are selling, right? If you visit any law firm's website, you, you, you'll be able to see the services which they are offering. So you are simply showcasing your products on the internet, okay? People equally use social media to advertise their products by ensuring that their businesses have different social media platforms. So they use these platforms to advertise their products, okay? So that's, that's what we mean by social media marketing. You use different social media platforms to carry out advertisement. When we talk about SEO, when we talk about SM, now, SEO simply means search engine optimization. SEM simply means search engine marketing. 
Then we have SMM, which is social media marketing or what we call social media organic. Okay, these are the various pillars. These are the three major pillars of digital marketing. We have other pillars of digital marketing like, um, so like um, graphic design, web design, email marketing, content creation, affiliate marketing. They are all part of digital marketing. But you see these three major pillars. You can do affiliate marketing from January to December, email marketing, content marketing, web development. So long as you've not done SEO, PPC, SMM, don't call yourself a digital marketer. In fact, you can do these three pillars, you forget about the other ones, okay? But you cannot do without these three pillars. These are the major pillars of digital marketing. And I'm going to walk in you guys, in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to walk, I'm walking you guys through these pillars so you understand how it looks and how you can easily identify that this is an SEO, this is PPC, or this is SMM, okay? Any questions so far? Can we continue? Are we good to go? I see so many people having um, network problems. It's really, it's really um, disturbing. Nevertheless, they will join us later, okay? So um, we're going to be talking about search engine optimization. You must have heard about it, but it looks like a very big word, but it's very, very simple and easy to understand, okay? So we have what we call search engine optimization, and we have what we call search engine marketing. If you want to take your business to the internet, there are two ways you can do that, okay? You can either use social media platforms or you use the website. Those are the two major ways. There is no other way. In fact, there is no other way to tell people about your business, okay? If you're not using social media or the website, okay? So if you want your business to be on the internet, then you should either create a website or you create social media platforms, or you can create both if you have the capability of doing so. You create both, okay? Majority of businesses, businesses that have excelled do have this platform. Facebook has a website. It has its various um, um, applications which you can just log into, right? We have Amazon has a website. They have their mobile application. They have their various social media platforms. If you want to check Amazon on Facebook, you will see Amazon. You see Amazon, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the social media platforms. If you want to search for Amazon's website, you are going to see that, all right? These are what makes companies stand out as far as the digital space is concerned. All right, now let's talk about SEO, which is search engine optimization and SEM. Now, these two pillars correlate, all right? They are somehow related because you need a website. 100%, you need a website before you can be able to talk about SEO and SEM. Now, what is SEO? What is SEM? SEO, which means search engine optimization. These are methods which you use your website to showcase your business to your audience for free. Okay? So all you need to do is you create a website. You create the various web pages on a website. You create articles so that when people visit any search engine like Google Chrome, people visit search engines like Bing, people visit search engines like Yahoo and type the name of your business, the business is going to pop up. That is what we call organic, um, organic marketing, or what we call search engine optimization. Okay, that is organic marketing with the help of a website. Now I'm going to do this with a practical uh, example. So I'm just going to share with you um, my browser right here, and I will take you guys to a new browser and let's do some exercises here. Now this is our Google search engine, right? Now, if you look at this Google search engine very well, there is no information on it. What you see below here are just shortcuts to other pages which are open or other websites which I've, I've, I've had access to uh, within the past few days. So if I open, let's say, an incognito window, for example, let me just open an incognito window here. All right, so this is an incognito window, which means that practically I have not done anything. I have not searched for anything. 
Okay, so if I go to google.com, which is one of the most, in fact, it is the most popular uh, search, uh, search engine. Okay, this is a, one of the most, this is the most popular search engine. Now, you see, when I visit google.com, there is nothing on my screen. There is no information, no advertisement, nothing, right? So the only way I can get information is to type in something, right? If I type in something like rent a car and I click enter, that is when I'll get information, right? That's when I'm going to get um, information. So as you can see here, and now I have an information, rent a car. If I scroll down, these are other informations which I have received. Okay, these are other informations. Now let me go back to the other window. Okay, so if I type here, rent a car, that is when I'm going to get information related to this particular um, word which I have typed, okay? Now, what you see on your screen, each time you search for something are known as ads, these are all ads. These are all ads, okay? These are all Google ads, these are all ads. Now, there are two types of ads on this screen, okay? We have what we call free ads and what we call paid ads. So if you be hearing the words Google ads, Google ads, Google ads, just know that they are what paid ads. So digital marketers have taken time to create advertisement. They have paid Google, okay, and created an advertisement which Google in turn shows these ads to people who search them for a particular fee, okay? Now, how can I differentiate between a free ad and a paid ad on a search engine? Now, let me open another search engine. Let's go to bing.com. So this is bing.com. I've just typed bing.com. There is no advertisement here, right? Now I'm going to type in the same rent a car. And there you have it. We now have an information. Now we are using two browsers, okay? We are using two um, um, search engines to get this information. Um, guys, let me use another window. This is too crowded. Too crowded. Okay, let me use this window, okay? So we can be able to see. Oh, this is too crowded as well. Let me just close some windows here. Okay, so let's go with google.com. So we have google.com here and we have bing.com, okay? So if I go to my google.com, I'm going to search for something, let's say rent a car. And if I go to bing.com as well, I'm going to type in rent a car, great. So I've done my normal search, these are normal routines. And by the way, um, have, any of you done any research on the internet of recent? Have you used Google of recent? If yes, what were you searching for on the internet? Charles, Emmanuel, Sue Judy. You guys have not used Google, you have not used Google of recent? I used it today. Yes. So, what was your? What did you search on Google? Uh, what well, about uh, customer projects? Uh, your internet is breaking, please, um, Mr. Emmanuel. Yeah, also customer project. Okay, Sample about customer project. Okay, about a project. Yes. Uh, okay, great. Um, so Judith, what did you research on? Uh, <laughs> did you I when I was researching something. Yes. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. I'm getting you. I said I was doing a research on cakes, cake making. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Um, what about uh, Anushini? Charles? Uh, 
I, I was trying to do a research. I was looking for the meaning of the word edinism, an English word. Okay, okay, perfect. So majority of you went online to do research uh, to, 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 to get information with respect to a particular word or something that can help you academically or improve on your business, right? So you're actually doing research. You didn't go online to buy something. You just went to do research, right? So that's that. That's very great. Um, I think it's yeah. it's 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 really uh, great. So guys, you make sure you try to use um, Google once in a while because I believe the internet has everything you actually need in order to uh, become successful. Okay. So right now we're just going to continue from where we ended. So um, I've I've opened two browsers, two search engines rather. So we have the Google, we have the Google search engine and the Bing, and we've done research on a particular search term, rent a car on this and rent a car on this. And I equally, I earlier mentioned to you guys that um, there are two types of ads when you search on Google, okay? We have the free ads and the paid ads. Now, how can you differentiate between a free ad and a paid ad? If you look carefully on my screen, if you look carefully on this screen, you'll notice that in front of this website, there is an AD here, there is an AD here, there is an AD here and there is an AD here, right? But after the fourth AD, you won't find any AD again beside this website. You won't find any AD beside this website, beside this website. You can only find an AD again probably below, okay? So when I scroll below, you're going to have AD here, AD here, AD here, okay? Now, when you see an AD beside any search result, know that it is a paid ad. This company has paid Google so that Google can show their ads on the first pages of their search results. So Renter Cars has paid Google for this particular keyword. Offers.easyhire has paid Google, all right? Export Rental Car has paid Google. And then we have Afam, Afam, Afamia Cars have equally paid Google. Those are all paid ads. And when you pay for an advertisement, Google will always make sure they show yours at the top of their first page. Remember, Google has more than 200,000 pages, okay? As you can see below here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you keep on going, you're going to be having so many pages. But this is the first page, which means that we have more than three, five, six, seven, eight million websites online. And it's not, it's not possible for you to have um, all those millions of websites on the first page. So... For you to actually achieve being on the first page, there are two things you can do. You can either optimize, you can create free advertisements like creating good articles on your website that are very, very good and are entertaining or are convincing the eyes of Google, or you pay for them. So if you pay for them, Google will place it on the first page. If you don't want to pay for them, make sure the content which you're placing are legit content, okay? The grammar is great. It is, a, it is very useful, all right? And the content should be far more better than those in that same market. For example, if you're creating content about um, baking of cake, make sure that your own content is far more better than what another person is creating, okay? Once you do that, you respect all the rules and regulations laid by Google, they are going to run your website on the first page of Google, okay? So these are all paid ads. And it is with the help of the course, Google Ads Analytics, that you are able to do to create these ads as a digital marketer. Then when you see these ones without the ads, these are all what we call free ads. And they are here thanks to what we call search engine optimization, okay? So the paid ads are known as search engine marketing or PPC. PPC simply means pay per click, which means that when these companies <laughs> create these ads, they don't pay immediately, okay? It's like pay as you go, all right? You don't, you don't pay, I'm sorry, you pay after using uh, the service, okay? So you don't pay immediately. So the only time these companies will pay for this service is when somebody clicks on this website. So if I want Google to charge this company rental cars, I am going to click on this rentercar.com. Immediately I click on it, Google is going to charge them, be it $1, $2 or so, depending on how much they have decided to pay. Because these companies that are at the top, we have the second, third, and fourth. They are not there randomly, okay? 
rent a car is at the top because they are paying higher for this particular one you see here, rent a car. They are paying higher than the ezhire.ae. Okay, so this company is paying higher than this company. That's the reason why they are at the top. Same with this Oxford rental car. They are paying higher. They are the uh, AZ higher is paying higher than Oxford rental cars. Okay, so as far as paid ads are concerned, we have what we call competition. We have what we call bidding. So when you want to, when you are creating ads, as far as Google Ads is concerned, you have what we call keywords. You have several keywords that are related to that business. Okay, so this is what we call um, <clears throat> keywords. So these keywords, I want to help you to run. These keywords are the things people always search regularly. What people always type regularly to be able to see your business, to be able to see what you are advertising. So you are paying, but for those keywords, you are bidding for the keywords. So when you bid, like I tell Google, Google, I noticed that there are some people who are paying $1 per click. So I want to pay $2, which means I want you to rank me higher than those below. That's what makes this company to be at the top, okay? But for the free ads, these are all free ads. All the job which you see, all these ads which you see here are done on your website, okay? And we are going to teach you how to do this on a website. We'll show you how to, um, to, to work on pages so that they can run on Google, which means that as far as digital marketing is concerned, you are going to learn an aspect of web design that is related to digital marketing, okay? You're not learning the complete web design, but you're learning that aspect which is related to digital marketing, and that will be done under search engine optimization. And of course, when we're looking at social media, there are some things which linking up your social media to your website, we are going to show you how to do that as well, okay? Is it clear? Is it understood? Yes, Any question? Any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, since you've been talking, talking about so for somebody to read the data marketing, must one have a website? I will come to that. Okay. I'll come okay. to that. By the time we are going through, you are going to understand the necessity, the essence of the website when it comes to digital marketing. Of course, from what I've just explained now, Google Ads, you cannot create Google Ads without a website. You cannot do SEO without a website. So basically, as far as free ads and paid ads are concerned, you need a website 100%. As an individual, or uh, sorry. No, company, you as or... a digital you as a digital marketer, you don't need it. But if you have to work for a company or you want to render your services to a company, that company needs a website. Okay. Yes. Any other question? Okay, so let's let's forge ahead. Let's forge ahead. So as far as digital marketing is concerned, as far as Paid ads are concerned, right? You need to have a website. And let me clarify that. Okay. We've talked about SEO, which is search engine, which is um, search engine optimization. We've talked about Google Ads, which is search engine marketing, or what we call PPC, pay per click. And I explained to you that you only pay when someone searches for your work and clicks on it, which means that if I come to this page and I see these four ads and I only click on this, these other companies will not be penalized, okay? You have, they have just seen it. This is what we call impression. They have just seen it, but they will not be charged, okay? <clears throat> now, I've differentiated between paid ads and free ads. Now, let's talk a little bit about paid ads, okay? There are different types of paid ads. We have what we call text ads. We have what we call video ads. We have what we call display ads, okay? We have what we call shopping ads. These are all aspects of Google Ads itself, which you're going to learn as far as the course is concerned. Text ads are ads without any image, all right? You just have a text. You may have an image, but it's just beside here. And that image is like an extension. It has just been added as an extension, but it still remains a text ad. This is a text ad. This is a text ad. This is a text ad. And this is a text ad. These are all text ad, okay? These are all text ad. Now, Another kind of ad, it's what we call a shopping ad. Shopping ads only appear when you are creating advertisement for products. These are all services. Rent a car is a service. 
buy a car is what you actually you actually selling products, okay? Or buy a smartphone, you actually selling products. For example, if I change this from rent a car to um, buy iPhone, let's say iPhone twelve. <clears throat> You notice that everything changes completely, right? We no longer have paid ads or text ads. This is still a paid ad. These are all paid ads. If you look at the top of this ad, you see the ADS. ADS is ads in plural, okay? And these are still paid ads, but they are not as shopping ads. Why do I call it shopping ads? They are called shopping ads because it has the image of the product, the name of the product, the price of the product, and the company advertising that product. That is why it is called a shopping ad. If any of these items are missing, then you will not address it again as a shopping ad. And you're going to learn how to create these ads as well. You learn how to create a shopping ad. Look at this. When you, you see here AD, right? ADS. Immediately I, I scroll down, you're not going to see any AD again. Look at when I scroll down, no AD, no AD, no AD. Which means that these are what? Combination of different ads. And I can scroll. And you see variety of ads. These are all ads created by companies and they are paid for. And of course, the first one here pays higher than the others. That's why he is, this ad is at the top. So I've explained to you what a text ad looks like, a shopping ad looks like. Now I'm going to talk about a display ad. A display ad, these are ads that are shown on partner websites. For example, I'm sure you guys must know about Mimi Mefo website. Okay, it's a blogger. So display ads are always shown on maybe blogger websites blogger website, newsletter website, or companies that have decided to partner with Google. So if you partner with Google, Google is going to use, um, Google is going to use your website to show advertisement. And they can only show what we call paid, they can only show what we call display ads on your website. They cannot show text ads, they cannot show shopping ads. What they will always show are what we call display ads. These are ads that only carry images. Even though the images may carry information on them, but it remains an image, okay? It remains an image. These are practical examples. Mimi Mefo is a site uh, created by a Cameroonian journalist, all right, where she talks about things that are related to Cameroon and things that are related that are actually happening around the world, okay? And you will think that she doesn't make money out of this, but she makes a lot of money out of this, okay? Because this website is a partner to Google and Google uses this site to create advertisement. These are examples of display ads. You see, these are only images, right? How do I know these ads are coming from Google? How do I know Google is actually using these ads? If I point my mouse here, you notice that you see here, ads by Google. I hope you guys can see. Ads by Google, which means that these ads are shown here thanks to what Google. This is another ad, ads by Google, all right? So these are all ads which are created um, by sorry, which are created by Google and shown on partner website. So I've talked about text ads. I've talked about display ads. I've talked about shopping ads. The next ad which I'll be talking about is what we call the video ad. How many of you here usually use YouTube? If you've used YouTube before, just indicate. I'm sure most of you use YouTube anyway. Who recently used YouTube? Used a YouTube. Emmanuel, Sue? Charles, Tego. None of you have used YouTube uh, of recent? I don't use Bluetooth of recent because of poor network. Uh, poor network, okay. So who is the owner? Which company owns YouTube? Any idea? Which company owns YouTube? No idea. YouTube is a company owned by Google. Okay? YouTube is a product of Google. Know that, of, know that as from well today. So when we talk about video ads, it's all related to YouTube. Okay? When I talk about video, another name for video ad is YouTube ads, okay? So as a digital marketing expert, you should be able to create ads that will show on YouTube, which means you'll be creating video ads. Now, I'm going to visit a YouTube, I'm going to visit a YouTube website. <clears throat> this is youtube.com. There are so many videos on YouTube, right? 
so many videos. Now, if I want to watch a particular video, for example, this video, right? If I click on this video, just look at what happens. I wanted to watch a video that was created by Sky Sport, right? You see here, Sky Sport News. But what I am watching at the moment is not even related to Sky Sports. I'm seeing about stock trading and so on. So the first video that pops up is not related to the YouTube channel, all right? So these videos that always interrupt you watching your favorite video is known as what a YouTube video or a video. Or a YouTube is known as a YouTube ad or a video ad, okay? So as far as these ads are concerned, you can either wait for this ad to get finished before you can watch your video, or there's always a skip button that will permit you to skip that video after about five or six seconds. Let me do that again. So if I cancel this, I go back to youtube.com, okay? If I go back to youtube.com and I click on this video, okay, the advertisement has not shown here. I'm going to refresh this. Let's see if we're going to have an ad, no ad. Okay, so on the previous video, you saw an advertisement that popped up that was not related to um, the video that I wanted to watch, all right? So the only, way, so the only the only way I could watch my video is either I wait for that video to get to the end or I skip, there's always a skip button here, which I just need to skip and I can continue watching the video. And from time to time, that video is going to interrupt me while I'm watching my video. In Cameroon, you will not really see a lot of this because we don't have a lot of people who create video ads in Cameroon, okay? At one moment, I created a video ad here uh, and I decided to show this, to showcase this video in Cameroon. Less than a week, that video went viral and I received so many views and, and so on. So that is the importance of YouTube video. If you want your company to actually excel in terms of videos, if you are a videographer, then you should be thinking of doing what? Creating YouTube videos or you're creating YouTube you're ads. YouTube. You're creating YouTube ads or you're creating video ads, okay? So those are the different types of paid ads which you're going to be learning. There are other types of paid ads which I cannot show you here, okay? I cannot really show them here. Like we talk about conversion ads, we talk about leads. Those ones can be shown only during the practical class itself. We talk about shopping ads as well. Those ads which you see on, um, those ads which you see on your mobile device sometimes, all right? When you want to play a game, a video game, an ad pops up. Those are mobile ads. You want to play a video game. You see Amazon pops up, right? Those are those are ads that are created to show only on mobile devices. You are going to learn how to create them as a digital marketing expert. So we've talked about the paid ads. For the free ad, which is SEO, there are two types of SEO. We have the on-page and the off-page. On-page SEO is you making sure your website ranks by doing so much work on the website. It's done internally at the back end of the website, which means you're going to learn a little bit about web design as far as that is concerned. Then we have off-page, which means you'll be doing things that are not link to the website, all right? You will not be doing work on your website, you will do work out of your website, but still to enable your website to run. So it's like you're linking, okay? You're linking, you're driving traffic, you're driving what we call crawlers. Crawlers from other websites to your website, from other external tools to your website, so your website can get run, okay? So that is it with SEO, we've talked about SEO, we've talked about, we've talked about SEO, we've talked about PPC, and now let's, Talk a little about social media marketing. I believe so many of you use social media platforms from Facebook to WhatsApp to Instagram to TikTok to Twitter to Snapchat. Some of you have um, different platforms that you use, all right? Some of you maybe are only focused on Facebook and Instagram. For the young ladies, they are very versed with TikTok, like creating very uh, creating videos on TikTok, right? So you're going to learn how to create paid ads on these channels as well, okay? Now, let me show you an example of a paid ad on Facebook. Now, as far as paid ads are concerned on social media, you guys are familiar with that. People creating content like bloggers, like uh, comedians, content creators, influencers, they just create those free ads. They don't pay for them, right? Those are what we call free ads. 
Now, the paid ads are those ones which you contact these companies, you pay them to show your ads. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that. So um, I'm going to visit a Facebook account. Okay, like this one. I hope to see a paid ad here. Let me scroll down. Scroll down. If I don't see a paid ad here, then I'm going to switch. This account is very new. So let's see if we can have a paid ad. No paid ad, no paid ad. No. So this is my personal page. Maybe that's the reason why I can't find. All right, let me switch this account so you guys can see what I'm saying. Um, let me switch. Seems as if, let me try this one. Um, Okay, so I'm going to use this Facebook account and show you what I see. All right, so if you look at this, okay, if you look at this very well, this is a Facebook account, all right? So this is a free ad. This is a paid ad. This is a free ad. This is a free ad. This is a free ad. Free and pay. Now, let me differentiate between free ads and pay ads, okay? Now, this is a free ad. With a free ad, you have the name of the page or the name of the account, okay? You have the image, what they're advertising, okay? Then we have the like, comment, share, all right? Like, comment, share. Now, this is a paid ad. With this paid ad, you have the name of the page or the account. Then below that page, what makes it different is that you're going to see this word sponsored. As far as Google Ads are concerned, what we saw was what the AD, which is the ad. But for Facebook, you're going to see what? Sponsor. For LinkedIn, you're going to see promoted. Okay? All these words mean the same. So you see sponsor, you see the text, you see the image, okay? You're going to see a headline. This is a headline. You're going to see the like, the comment, the share, and you're going to see a button. Now, what makes the difference? On the free ad, there is no sponsor below. There is no headline and there is no button. This is not a button, okay? I'm the only one who can see this. Other people can't see this. There is no headline, there is no button and we have what the like, the share, the comment. But here we have the word sponsor, the text, the video or the image. Then we have the headline, the like, share, comment and the button. Button, very important. If I scroll down to the other paid ad, this one, the same thing. We have the name of the page or the account. We have sponsored. We have the text. We have the image or the video. We have the headline, the button, like, share, comment. Okay? So that's, that's the difference between paid ads and free ads on social media. On any other platform, it's the same thing. Okay? On any other platform, it's the same. Let me go to LinkedIn, which is a professional platform. I hope I'm locked into this. Okay, so this is a LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn profile, okay? Now, I'm going to equally differentiate between paid ads and free ads. This is a free ad because we have just the name of the page or the account, the text, we have the image, then we have our like, comment, repost, and send. Now, this is a paid ad because the name of the page is there. We have promoted, we have the text, image or video, we have the headline, we have the button, we have our like, comment, repost, and send. For free ads, there is no button, there is no headline, and there is no promoted below, right? And uh, let's go down. And this is another paid ad. Name of the account, promoted text, video. Okay, 
Okay, so this is a brand awareness. So this person decided not to add the headline and the button. So it's their choice. If I scroll down again, we should have another paid ad. Okay, this is another paid ad. Moin, we have promoted text, video, headline, button, like, comment, repost, and send. That's what makes the difference between free ads and paid ads as far as social media marketing is concerned. And as a digital marketing expert, you should know how to create both the free ad and the paid ad. So I've just talked about, I've just explained to you what SEO is, SEM is, SMO, social media organic, that is a free ad to create every day. And we've talked about the SMM. Okay, now, apart from the three major pillars of digital marketing, we are going to talk about Google Analytics. This is the analytics. We are going to talk about Google Data Studio. We're going to talk about Google Tag Manager. We're going to talk about email marketing. We're going to talk about content marketing. We're going to talk about affiliate marketing. Okay, these are the other aspects of digital marketing which we are going to be talking about. I've already explained to you what um, digital marketing is. I've explained to you, giving you an insight about the various um, modules. Okay. Any questions so far? Any question? Any question? I wish to ask you yes. top um search engine optimization. I yes. don't understand those two. Sorry, come again. I mean on the SEO. Yes. Stop on the off on page and off page. page. Yes, yes. And I didn't I didn't really get it there. I didn't okay. really understand. All right, let me let me explain to you more better. Okay. Now I said that search engine optimization simply means that. You're creating free ads on the website, right? You're creating free search engine ad advertisement. And this can be done with the help of a website. You need a website to be able to work with search engine optimization. Now, I said there are two types of search engine optimization, okay? There are two types of search engine optimization. We have the on-page and the off-page. Now, what do I mean by on-page? In fact, let me go to the slides so that I think we better demonstrations you'll be able to understand. Let me go back, go back. So SEO, this is PPC. Um, okay, so there are two types. We have the search engine optimization, the on-page and the off-page. Now, what is the meaning of on-page? Now, I earlier mentioned that Search engine optimization is doing what? Creating ads, all right, which will help your website to rank. So these are things you are going to do on your website to make sure that it appears on the first page of Google. Now, for these websites to actually appear on the first page of Google, you have to do a lot of work, all right? The minimum time which you even need to do this work is six months. So don't expect results in the next six months. Okay, that's the meaning of search engine optimization. So you are doing everything possible to make sure that your website is very good. Your website is very beautiful. You've put vid videos on your website. You have images on your website. You make sure that each article you create on your website should be above maybe 700 words, 800 words. Those are the things that make your website sophisticated for Google to rank. Now, in order to rank that website, there are two things you need to do. You need to do an on-page optimization and what we call off-page. On-page simply means there are things you're going to do on your website. For example, you need to check on your keywords. How many keywords do you use on that article in your website? Meta tag. You need to work on your meta tag as well. All right. Those are things that are related to your keyword. Then you need to talk, look at your site performance. Is your website very fast? You check on those things that can help your website to be fast. If there are things that are slowing down your website, you need to take them off, okay? You need to equally check that there is a Google map, there is a side map on your website. You need to make sure that you have internal links, you're linking things on your website. So we'll teach you how to do backlinks, we teach you how to do cross-linking, 
Okay, you link one page to the next. Those are the things Google loves. So you are doing the things that Google wants you to do them that are pleasant in the eyes of Google. Okay, but you are doing this one in your website. Okay, that's the meaning of on page. On page simply means that you are working on your website, creating articles on your website, adding things like call button, adding things like WhatsApp on your website. Okay, adding things like live chat on your website. Those are things Google loves. We are going to list, do all those things. We are going to do the things that Google loves to make sure that a website actually runs. Those are what we call on page. Then we have what we call off page. Off page simply means you are doing these things out of your website. That's why they call it off page. Things that you need to do in order to make sure that Google loves and ranks your website. You can do things like writing articles on another website. There are different websites which you can write articles on their website, but you're going to place a link that when somebody reads that website, reads that article, he's going to click on the link and he will take them to where? To your website. That is what we call off page. So anything you're doing as far as off page is concerned, you are doing it out of your website. You are posting on different forums. Okay, you are doing blogging on different uh, websites. Okay, you are there are so many things you are you have so many tools that you check to see if your website is performing very well or not. You are using external tools. So those external tools, like tools that you can use to rewrite an article, those are external tools. You use them to write an article that you're going to use on another blog or you use it on your website. Those are, those are things. Those are what that is what we call SEO off page. I hope it's understood. Understood? The person who asked the question, is it okay? Silence means yes, right? Silence means yes. Okay, great. So that is it as far as SEO is concerned, Google Ads is concerned. Um, Google Analytics, what is Google Analytics? Google Analytics is simply a tool used for measurement, all right? I cannot really explain that because I need to do it practically so you will see, okay? And it's a course, it's a module that takes about a month before you come, before we complete. So it's a tool that you use in doing measurement. So how does it function? Now, once you've been able to create your free ads, your paid ads, you will need to see what is happening. You want to know what is happening. Your client wants to know what is happening. How many people visited my website through free ads? How many people visited my website through paid ads? Where did they come from? Which device were they using? The device which they were using is going to determine how your website is performing. If people were unable to log into your website through mobile device, it means your website is not mobile friendly. So you need to adjust that. Thanks to Google Analytics, you are able to carry out all these measurements. So it is a measurement tool. It's a tool that helps you to measure to see what's happening on your website, where people are coming from, which country they are coming from, their gender, okay? From where are they visiting your website? Which device are they using? From which country are they purchasing the products? What are they interested in? Okay, how many times did they visit my website? How many times did a single user visit my website? How long did they spend on my website? Why are people going to my home page and they are not going to my thank you page? Why are they not going to the checkout page? Why are people visiting my product page? Maybe they visited a page that I sell Amazon product, or sorry, I sell iPhone, but they weren't able to make payment. Why is it that each time they go to make payment, they don't complete the payment? Thanks to Google Analytics, you'll be able to measure all of that. And we are going to drill you on that. Then the next aspect, as far as search engine market is concerned, is what we call Google Data Studio is equal to another module. So Data Studio now helps you to represent this data which you've collected from Google Analytics in a very beautiful way that is pleasant in the eyes of you. Not everybody is good with figures, okay? Some people are, that's, they don't just want to see figures. When you start calling figures, for example, if you start telling somebody that, um, we had 1,823,250 people from Douala and 354,817 from Yaoundé. Those figures can make somebody grow mad, can make some people grow mad. But if you just tell them that in total, we had 50% from Bamenda, 20% from Yaoundé, 30% from Douala, that makes a whole lot of sense. 
And it is thanks to Google Data Studio that you are able to measure that. And you can actually produce very beautiful graph that will determine where these people are coming from. You can say out of the total number of devices, 50% of the people use a PC, 20% use uh, an iPhone, 40% use Samsung. You can even break it down by checking to see how many people actually use iPhone 13, iPhone 14. Okay, let's take an example. If your business is that which you deal with the sales of iPhone, okay, your business is strictly sell, your business is strictly to sell iPhones. Okay, so with the data which you're going to collect, you can determine where you should focus. You can determine to which device you can continue doing your advertisement. If you are if you are to sell, let's say iPhone charger, you will not go and be advertising iPhone charger to somebody who is using an Android device. You are doing the right thing at the wrong time. You will see so many people um, seeing your ad, but they are not taking action. So with the response you're going to get, with the data you're going to get from Google Analytics, you'll be able to do what? To know where to focus your money. Remember, paid ad is money. You are spending money online. So you need to ensure that you spend the money where required. You, you work like a rational uh, human being, okay? Any question? Any question as far as SEO, search engine marketing, um, social media marketing is concerned? All right, so I've talked about these three um, modules. I think let me bring up the, let me just bring up the course outline. I'm going to share this course outline in the forum as well, all right? So um, just give me a moment. Let me bring it up so that I should be able to exhaust everything that is being said. So um, we have the course. Okay, so I have it here, Let me bring it up. Okay, great. Let me share. All right, so this is the course outline. So um, we've talked about search engine marketing. We've talked about social media marketing. We've talked about search engine optimization and the affiliate. We've talked about these three, right? We've talked about search engine marketing. So on that search engine marketing, we have Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google Data Studio and Google Tag Manager. Tag Manager is just a tool which we use to bring together all the other platforms. We bring in Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google Data Studio, all the social media platform in a central point, okay, where we can easily monitor and manage, all right? So it helps us to bring these platforms together and we link it up to our website. It's just like a center point, a central point, okay? So that's the essence of Google Tag Manager. It's very interesting as well. Then we will, we're going to talk about social media marketing. As far as social media marketing is concerned, we are going to look at seven different platforms. We're going to look at Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Snapchat, TikTok, and Twitter. We're going to learn how to create paid ads on all these platforms. So this should take us approximately one month, two weeks to complete. Then we have the search engine optimization. So for the search engine optimization, we have the on-page and the off-page. Then we have what we call affiliate marketing. So after you've gone through this course, then you'll be very easy for you to understand what affiliate marketing is. We are going to show you what it takes to become an affiliate marketing manager, all right? So you're not learning affiliate marketing just to start up your business. You can equally work for a company as an affiliate marketing manager. So many companies here in UAE are calling it affiliate marketing manager. You're going to manage how things are being done as far as their products and commissions are concerned, like Amazon. Amazon has lots and lots of affiliate marketing manager because of the affiliate program, okay? Amazon has an affiliate program. We have eBay equally has an affiliate program. All these social, these e-commerce platforms, they do have affiliate program. We are going to talk about the various um, affiliate programs out there which you can um, create an account with them and you market their products. We will talk about physical um, affiliate marketing products. We'll talk about digital affiliate marketing products as well. And this should take us about two weeks to complete. Then we have email marketing. Email marketing is one of the cheapest way of doing marketing. In fact, 
Email marketing has been long be existing before social media platforms even came to existence. Remember, before we started using WhatsApp, we were sending messages through what? Emails, Yahoo. Yahoo, we started with Yahoo before we went to Google. Google just came and took over the market, right? So email marketing has been there for a very long time and it's one of the cheapest. We're going to learn what email marketing is all about. We're going to learn what we call uh, lead magnets. We'll learn how to reach out to people. The kind of things we need in order to reach out to people as far as email marketing is concerned. We are going to crown that. We are going to crown up with that. And of course, we are going to end up by creating a digital marketing agency. We're going to teach you how you can create your personal digital marketing agency. We always encourage students, if you get into digital marketing, make sure that in future, you take web design as a full program. Most companies out there, when they are recruiting a digital marketer, they always, they always give a plus to someone who has studied web design, okay? Because you'll be able to manage, especially when it comes to SEO, you'll be able to manage your websites very well to ensure that they get a better ranking as an SEO specialist, okay? It's very important. And of course, graphics, as far as social media is concerned, you really need to learn a little bit of graphic design. So you'll be able to create some um, designs for your clients, though it's not your job, but they can pay you, that should be an extra. So if you're taking a job as a social media marketing manager, then you can include that as well. If you are the one to do the designs, you, should, you are going to charge them extra. So these are all bonuses which you are going to get. Okay, this is very, very important. The coursework will take approximately three to four months to complete. Okay, now, once you are done with this course, you are exposed to, um, you are exposed to six different fields. You can Google it. You will be exposed to six different fields. You can work as a social media marketing specialist. You can work as a digital strategist. So for a digital strategist, you need to learn Google Analytics and Google Data Studio. That is what makes you a digital strategist, Google Analytics and Google Data Studio. What makes you a social media marketing specialist are these social media platforms. Some of these platforms, paid ads are not done in Cameroon, but you're going to learn them. We're going to teach you so that in case you have to leave the country and work for another company out there, it's going to be easy for you. Then we have the SEO specialists. So you're in charge of making sure that websites are being run and they achieve their best results. Then we have what we call affiliate marketing. You can learn these why you get into different affiliate programs to promote your products. Um, you can build your own affiliate marketing program by yourself, okay? Then we have email marketing manager as well. You are in charge of managing emails. You are in charge of making sure that clients get better information as far as, in fact, so many companies, so many, if a company that, a company that is online, if they don't have an email marketing manager, it's going to be very difficult for that company to excel because they need to keep on reminding people, keep on reminding people, keep on updating people about recent happenings. This is very, very important, okay? So these are the various job opportunities that you have. And of course, you can equally become a digital marketing specialist, a digital marketing manager, okay? Or you can become a marketing manager. So as a marketing manager, you need to know what digital marketing is all about. Okay, so these are the opportunities that are out there waiting for you. Or you can learn these skills and you become a freelancer. You decide to pay ads for people, for companies. And of course, that one even pays more. You create ads for companies. You can just sign a contract with a company to make sure that everything is set. And when your contract is done, why you are not tied down to the company like you're working there as a staff. You're just acting as an agent whereby you have different clients which you are working with, okay? Any question as far as the course outline is concerned and the career opportunity that is awaiting you guys? Any question? Before I continue. No question? All right, so let me continue. So what are the certifications that are with you by the time you're done with this course? Okay, so we have two major certifications which you're going to get 
at the end of this course. The first certification is the Google certification. So by the time you're done with this course, after three to four months, we're going to prepare you to sit down and write the Google exams, all right? Direct from the United States. You sit down, you write the Google exams, and by the time you're done, you get your results instantly. And if you've made it, you're going to get your certifications immediately. The Google exams, you need to have an 80% pass mark for you to have been successful. We prepare you and make sure that you are 99% ready for the exams. Then we have the CPD exams, which covers everything. Google exams only covers um, Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google Data Studio, Tag Manager. These are the core. Digital um, search engine marketing is the core. As far as digital marketing is concerned, that is the core of digital. It makes 50% of the core. So during our class, 50% of our class is going to be all about Google Ads, Analytics, Data Studio. Why 50% will cover the remaining modules. Okay, so as far as CPD is concerned, this is the certification from UK. We, it covers everything, okay? And you're going to have a single sitting for that exam and you only need to have 80% pass mark. 79% is a fair mark, okay? So that is it as far as these modules are concerned. As for the fee, um, Cameroon is in, in particular has a scholarship. Okay, there's a scholarship which uh, Cameroon has, which is a fee of $199. That is approximately, I think, $130,000. All right, the regular fee is $1,000, or I think it's broken down into two. We have um, $1,000 and $1,002. Okay, so this is the one which you have the scholarship on, this one, not the maestro, this one. Right, and it's $199, which is approximately 130,000 francs. So we begin this program on the 17th of January. I think we really have students who have registered and are ready to kick off on the 17th. As you can see, the workload is actually there. You can go through the course content. I'm going to share this in the forum. You can go through the course content and actually know what it takes to uh, become a certified digital marketer. So once you're done with this course, you're going to become an advanced certified digital marketing expert from Google and from UK, all right? Among the total digital marketing experts in the world, not up to 5% of them are Google certified because the Google certification is not an easy exam, all right? But we prepare you, all right? I've been in the system for a very long time and I know what it takes. So I'm going to make sure you guys uh, are 99% ready. Okay, we've never had a student that has failed as far as the Google exam is concerned because we really take time to drill you for the exams. And by the time you're done with the course, to me, by the time you're done with this course, we are ready because we train you and we equally look at past exams and see, uh, we follow the pattern of how Google says. And they've said practically what they actually focus on are practical cases. That's why this course is 100% practical. You're not going to have notes where we come and have an empty screen and talking the whole day, no. We are going directly into the practical aspect. If you want notes, there are eBooks. We give you eBooks, you can be reading them. But this particular training is 100% practical. Any question? Dre, Charles, any question? Any question? All right, guys, if there are no questions, then uh, I think we've come to the end of, uh, I think there's a question in the chat. Okay, no, everything is fine. So if there are no questions, then we've come to the end of this training program. So um, for those of you who are here, let me see those who are having prospects of joining us on the 17th, just indicate. If you find this um, course interesting and you intend to take it in future, you can just indicate, all right, or you send me a private message and uh, we are going to talk about uh, modalities. It's a very flexible program and you pay, it's not uh, a course which you pay on a go, okay? 
It's not a cost which you pay on a go, you pay instrumentally. Okay, you pay instrumentally and the instruments too are very, very flexible. Okay, uh, Zoom user, I can't really know who is there, but I believe we are going to um, meet in the forum. All right, guys, thank you all for joining us today. And hopefully we are going to see again in the nearest future. Okay, we have these trainings uh, once in a while, we always have them. We're going to have another one on Friday where we are going to orientate those who could not join us today. I'm going to share the recorded session as well at the end of this class so that you can go through and see what is lacking. All right. Thank you all and have a blessed night. Bye-bye for now.